2022. It's getting harder and harder to launch products onto Amazon. The platform is getting busier and busier. Notice I don't say more competitive because I don't think it is getting more competitive. It's certainly getting busier on there though. So you want to make sure that if you're going to launch a product onto Amazon, you do it properly. So I want to show you a very, very quick and easy way to launch products on Amazon using PPC only. Let's get into it. Uh, Prime Day is coming up. They just announced Prime 13th and 12th and 13th of July, I think. Um, and so a very, very interesting strategy that you could undertake is to rank your product now ready for Prime. Okay, so I wanted to show you a very, very simple way of ranking products on Amazon. Uh, whether, and this is really for brand new products. So if I had a brand spankly new product and I needed to rank it really quickly, here's what I would do. Here's what I would do. So the first thing I would do is I would target five to 10 certainly no more than 10 um, potential search terms as exact match search terms, okay? So these are just the big two word, usually two word search terms that are the most relevant for your product, okay? So target those. If you don't know how to find those, then just go to your particular uh, competitor's listing and see what's in their title. And you'll find that they have usually, if they're ranking well, optimized. So this one is ant bait, ant traps, ant bait stations, for instance. So you'd find that the five to 10 most uh, uh, largest search volume terms, okay? Now, these will also be, unfortunately, the most expensive search terms as well. And PPC costs are uh, not getting any cheaper. However, what this strategy is all about is twofold. So it first fold is it's ranking and ranking only. So I'm not running a campaign here to make money. Uh, the chances are your A costs, your advertising cost of sale is going to be 100%, no doubt about it, okay? Um, but the target here is not to make money, it's to rank your product on Amazon. And that's a very, very different goal than making money on Amazon. Because what happens is you rank on Amazon and then because you've ranked, you get organic sales. So you get all these sales, okay? And that's where you can make money. But the actual ranking side of things, you should treat it differently to the making money side of things. Okay. That's the first thing. Second thing is um, we do this ranking campaign before a big event, quite a long time before a big event, a big event, because we want to then use the big event to make organic sales, which is where we'll make money. Okay. So it's a two-pronged approach. First of all, you've got to rank, and then you can make money from what you've done with the ranking. You've got to get, you've got to pay to get into this particular marketplace. Okay. Anyway, so five to ten search terms, tops. And you want to do exact match search terms. Again, that's going to be more expensive. However, uh, it's important that you go after those for your particular product. Okay. Next, when I set up my search placements. I'm searching and want to be up here. So I'm targeting top of placement because I want to get found. I want to get clicked on. I want to make sales. I want to get found. I want to get clicked on. I want to make sales. Again, you, you can't be cheap with this. You've just got to pay the money and get yourself into the position ready to go, which kind of comes back to uh, what Tracy was saying earlier about making sure that you've got the funds to be in that particular category to launch that product. It all kind of comes down to that as well. Clearly, a product like Ant Killer is going to have huge PPC costs, but also going to have huge volume of sales once you've ranked. Okay, So you're making the investment up front so you can profit on the back end. I don't 
put any long tail search terms in to these campaigns at all. I'm just targeting exact match, very, very short phrases. Two words is usually perfect and going after them. So none of that. I also do not let Amazon play about with my bids. So the, the tendency here is to allow Amazon to play with your bids both up and down. You don't want to do that. You want to have fixed price bids. That's very, very important. The reason that's so important for a ranking campaign specifically is that if you don't do that, if you allow Amazon to play with your bids, what Amazon's algorithm will do is it will see that you're not making many sales in that spot. And so it will alter your bids to move you further down the page to allow somebody that is making more sales to own that spot. You don't want to let Amazon do that. You want to pay to be in that position. So any, any potential sales you can make, you're making them. That's how you rank on Amazon. You make sales, okay? So it's fixed price bids only. And da, 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 anything else? Um, exact match I've talked about and high placements too. So that's how I do it. That's, and again, um, that comes back to what Tracy was saying with regards to understanding the market you're getting into. And that also comes back to what we're saying a few things ago with having the courage to go for it as well. Uh, now more than ever, it's courage, okay? Courage is important. Hi, this is Neil Asher from the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs with over two and a half thousand members and growing here in Australia. We're actually the fastest growing professional community of e-commerce entrepreneurs here in Australia with sales, by the way, of over $50 million online. If you'd like to find out more about what we do at the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs and, of course, how we can help you get started building and growing your own e-commerce empire, get yourself off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. The link for that is directly in the chat and I will see you in the next video. Bye.